Hello my friends, it's me Fiddlewin and welcome back to Subnautica. There has been an update to the game, which I'm going to evidence by bringing up the HUD here. First of all, you're going to notice I have nothing. I've decided to restart because of these updates. But I'm not going to torture you guys by having you wait and watch me go through the initial uh, pickup of, of patterns and stuff again. Our, this episode we're going to be heading out to that island over there, but i got to get caught up with where I was. So, what I'm going to do... Uh, first, I'm going to show you these changes. You're going to notice that there's new item icons. They're gorgeous. The HUD interface has changed. It's a lot sleeker. I like it. Uh, photo manager. Here's our voice logs and our data. So it's not obviously different than what it was, but what I wasn't sure about was there's some new things that have been added into the game, including these vents on the ocean floor. And I wasn't sure if those would just appear in my already saved game. So just to play it safe, I've restarted the game. Now we've started in a different position this time. We're on the side of the island I'm used to being on, which is on the west side, closer to the floating island. No, floating island's the other way. That way, sorry. Closer to that island. <laughs> so we're starting out on the side I'm more comfortable with being on anyway. So yeah, I'm going to run around. I'm going to get caught up. I'm going to get my, uh, my suit made. I'm going to look for things to scan. I'm going to make the scanner. I'm going to do all of that and then we will I will come back and we're going to go to the island. So I will see you guys in just a moment. Okay, so temporary base. This is going to be a temporary one. I am going to tear it down because I'm going to move it once I have the full room. This is just for storage. So let's just throw down. So this is a good way to do temporary base until you get the uh, multi-purpose room is throw down a, 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 blah, 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 a foundation so you've got some stability. Throw in an eye joint so you've just got a hallway. Put a hatch on the end of it. Put a uh, solar panel on the top of it. So you have oxygen. And that's it. Now you can go in and build. We can just throw a. Oh, I'm out of quartz. But you could throw a, a wall locker in here for storage. But this is a really good just base level. Uh, or starting for, for storing things so you don't have to do those little temporary or you know like floatable storages just throw this together this is really good basic level you can even put a fabricator in there if you want and then move it later because you know fabricators are very useful to have near your storage but if you build it right by your pod you don't need to do that you don't have to waste the resources on it early in the game you can build it later when you need it so yeah there's a, a very quick starting base right next to my pod that I can go into to store my stuff and not have to deal with the mess of uh, having three or four floating storages that I'll never use again. Yeah. So I'm almost ready to go. I've scanned everything, all the wrecks in the area that I'm aware of. I might have missed a few, but there's really not a lot. I have not found anything. Uh, I found one sea moth fragment. I need more, but hopefully I'll find that while going to the island or on my way back or who knows, but yeah. Okay, so just waiting at this point for the Aurora to blow up, blow up, bro up, <laughs> bro. Waiting for it to blow up and then we will head that way. Be right back. In the Aurora's drive Finally. The central dark matter that only reactor took forever. will reach a super critical state in T minus 10. Here we go. Nine, Lots of screenshots. Eight, seven, <laughs> six, five. This gets pretty epic looking. Three, two. Cool. That is pretty cool. Okay, a lot of screenshots. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's see. What do I need to ditch? So basically, to get to the island, just look for the clouds that don't move. So you'll notice that there's kind of a, a set of clouds behind the currently moving clouds that's not going anywhere that is your island and there's one in e in the two directions there's one there and then there's one over there so let's uh get the story in myself i think that's it yeah okay let's head there now this way is pretty safe to go there's not anything big and bad that you have to worry about unless you pass the island and we're not going to pass the island oh they haven't fixed the glitch where oh hey looky looky <gasps> Mine. I still need the mobile vehicle bay, but I'll take that right there. Two. Oh, wait. One? No, I scanned one before. Oh, I've been gypped. 
I swear I scanned one earlier. I did. I know I did. Damn it. Hmm. That's odd. That's really odd, because I did. I scanned one earlier. Oh, well. Hello. It'd be cool if they left, like, pad like things you could scan on their back. That'd be awesome. They could follow them around. I mean, why wouldn't they have debris on their back? Okay. Almost there. So here's where it gets deep. And where I lag. Apparently. Jesus. Alright, where's my island? There it is. See? See, it's not going anywhere. It's just this big poof. So here's where it gets deep. And we'll come back here later, obviously. I've built... Uh, this is one of the areas where I like to build a base. is near this island. But yeah, apparently they have not fixed... They haven't fixed the uh, glitch where the sea moth dis or the sea glide disappears when you come above water and then go back underwater. There's our island. Okay, I have my knife. I have everything I need. We're gonna clear this place out fairly quick. Oh, it is floating. Okay, that's right. This one's floating. The other one's not. I get it all backwards. I don't know why. Okay. I've had weirdness where when I try to go up on land. See, that was weird. There's this weird transition. When you're trying to go up on land, it, it doesn't quite... It's like you're in the earth for a moment until the game realizes, Oh, right. I'm on land now. Okay. Let's start scanning stuff, shall we? Let's scan one of these and we'll take a sample for later. We might need some for drinking now, but I want at least one sample before we leave for... Eating, or for uh, purposes of, um, I don't need any of these. I like to get these for decoration, so later on I'll probably come back and get some of these. But for purpose of uh, planting, we need one of those. It produces water when you eat it. It is a great water source, so that makes life a little easier. Okay, and there's a uh, pad that we're going to need to get there before we leave. A PDA data. For the rendezvous point is down there on in that uh, little alcove. All right, so we're going this way. Anything down there interesting? No. I'll get a chance to scan everything while I'm here, so I'm not too worried. Up here. So, you see one up there. And then there's another one over there. Oh, here's where we need to go later. So there's, I think, no, not here. It is the other one. Okay, wait. Um, ah, I need to go up the rocks. There we go. Okay. So we're going to head up real quick and scan everything in those two areas. Then we'll hit the center place if you've never been up here before. Uh, what I recommend is making sure that your inventory is nice and cleared out because you're going to leave with a lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of samples from an or plants and uh, items that you might pick up as well from some of the chests that are available. So make sure your inventory is mostly clear. The items you do want to bring with you is a knife and a scanner, at least. I bring everything I don't really need to. I didn't need to bring the repair tool and the habitat builder, and I could have left those behind. But there are a lot of plants that you're going to want to grab if you plan to have a self-sustaining pod. Now, there's things to scan here. We've got a spotlight. It's on top. Um, also, we're going to scan the bulkhead. We're going to scan the multi-purpose room, which I think is actually down in the valley between the two lookout points, I think. All right. Some water. I'll take that. We got a PDA with some information in it. Okay, so I'm going to take a moment to scan. We've got an observatory. Well, I'll just show you real quick. So we've got an observatory, we've got a growing bed, and then we've got some plants here. You're going to want to take at least one of these lantern fruit with you for planting purposes um nothing else here really is useful just scan it so i'm gonna scan this stuff it takes a moment i'll be right back okay i'll scan now the observation room i scan it it is neat to have but in all honesty it's a waste of uh of glass it's pretty if you get into a really pretty dark area you know if, if you build it it's for aesthetic only it's kind of a waste of material it's just for pretties so if you're not really a person who builds for the attractiveness of a base and more just builds to have a base, 
then you probably won't want to make one of those. Um, but if you really love the appearance of this game, which I know I do, <laughs> uh, you'll want to build one eventually. So am I going the right way? Wait, no, wrong way. Wrong side of the branch. So we're going to go down there last, or no, next. And then we'll come back up and we're going to head back over to that center pond. Which, no, actually we could just go under. Eh, it doesn't matter. We could just go under the uh, huh? island and go up into the opening. <laughs> so there's that option as well. We'll figure it out. Alright, so time up to the top. Now I'm not going to bother going through there, obviously. We're just going straight up. So when you're coming up here, be careful of areas. There's a little spot up here that it's kind of hard to get around the corner. Right here. See? You kind of get stuck. This is a little gimpy spot. Just be prepared. Be careful. Don't fall off the edge and have to start all over again. Pretty sure I scanned this. No. Okay. Oh, I thought I scanned those. I scanned the purple ones. I didn't scan the pink ones. There are, uh, sometimes there's options to run into, um, some more items to scan up here. I'm not having very good luck this time. In all honesty, I haven't seen any containers of research that I could scan. And normally, you know, sometimes you'll find research containers here and sometimes you won't. It looks like we're having a won't. Now, last time we came up here, I couldn't get back there because of a stupid container in the way. Uh, looks like I don't have that problem this time. So we've got some melon and some potatoes. These are visually glitched out. They're not in their planters. They're supposed to be back in those planters. Apparently they haven't fixed that with this update either. But it's just a game, so I'm gonna take seeds from this. Can I even? Can I even? I don't wanna, well, I'll pick it up later. There's uh, there's more down in the center. You don't have to pick those up. There's more down in the uh, planters down below. We got a PDA device. I've already scanned these. Nothing here. Let's head down. When I first started playing this game, the weird thing was, or there was like less gravity on the planet. So you could jump off here and float down. They've increased the gravity since then, so I would not recommend doing that now. But it used to be that way. You could jump off the top of this island and slow fall the way back down. It was kind of cool, but they've fixed it so gravity is gravity, and that's not the case. Okay, so we're going to need our dagger coming up here because we're going to run into some critters. And I like to do this area with some light because... Trying to do this in the dark and fight these critters is no fun. There's one. Hello. Where'd he go? Oh, he ran that way. Where'd you go? There you are. I'm trying to kill you, bugger. Come back here. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, hey. Come here. Come here, you. I want you to die so I don't have to worry about you. Thank you. Oh, well, let's scan him. So you take a few hits when you hit them the first time, they'll try to run away, but I, I'm persistent. Um, in some areas, you can just run off and leave them there. There's another one in there, usually. All right. So pick up your purple artifact, and then I highly recommend scanning this room. If you don't, you'll regret it. This is the room that you use as a primary room in base building. So do not forget to scan this room. Alright, we got the lab counter already. I've got a living wall, which is a decoration. I like to put that in my... Ah, come on. Okay, so outdoor grow bed. You'll also want to grab that. So now we have the indoor and exterior grow beds. And now I'm going to get some seeds. So I only need a potato. And then for the watermelon, hit it with a knife. And you will get seeds. And that's so much more space. I'm going to eat a potato, too. Um, I'm actually going to come up here and kill one of these plants because it contains water and food. So I'm going to take some samples here. I've already got one, so i got to make sure I don't eat the bad one. Uh, that one's not rotten? No. This one's rotten. So Another good source. Okay, so here's the best food in the game, in my opinion. The watermelon. This marble melon gives you both food and water. It is so OP and it is really the only thing you need to grow. 
I grow all of the plants because I like having a garden room, but I, I go for the aesthetic. But in all honesty, you can just go with the watermelon. That's all you really need. Okay. Did I get... I'm hoping for stasis. Yay! Stasis rifle. Mine. Okay. So, let's head inside. Here. Should be PDA information in here. Yeah. Yeah. There's this. So we've got the Ultra Guy flint, Flins. Fins. PDA data. And I guess there's not one in here. Usually there's one of those bugs. There's like three or four bugs here. Apparently there's not this time. Well, that's cool. Oh, hello. I'll, uh... I'll, uh... You have a nice day. <laughs> I didn't need that. Let's just not. Okay, so let's head out. I'm done. That's really all I need from this island. I've got all the food that's available that I care about. I've got all the uh, scanning technology that's available. Let's head down. I want to go grab the rendezvous point PDA, which is over here and around the corner or through a huh? tunnel. Huh? Oh, the lag is killing me, Smalls. And let's find our opening here. There's going to be a lake. Here it is. This is such a pretty little area, but we've got a PDA data right here. So this is the rendezvous point. Get out of the way. So a rendezvous voice log. Now we've got all kinds of PDA data that we've just picked up. Um, I'm not going to bother going through this. I recommend you read it. I'm not going to ruin it for those who want to read the story. So I'm not doing PDA data in this uh, episode or this Let's Play. Just as an FYI, if you're interested in that part of the story, then I recommend that. Um, I am going to travel to the life pod and then go over some of the transmissions that have come in over the radio. So I will be right back. I've decided, just decided, I've decided to make a pit stop. We've got a Seamoth Bay collapse around them over here. I don't know how deep this is though. I, ha I can't remember. But we're going to head over here and see what we find. Hello. So I'm kind of out of... Oxygen. Oh, oxygen. That's a good thing. Air's a definite positive. Is he? I was going to say, is he upside down? No. That'd be cool. Oh, another thing that would be cool is if they had unique uh, items on the backs of these guys. Like, you can only find on them. I wonder if that's the case. But I don't think so. I think it's just the same old plants and stuff you... What is that? Is that a... There is something there. What was that? Oh. Why was it glowing? Oh, hey. What's this? I'm gonna scan it. Maybe it is a unique. I wonder. Yeah, it might be unique critters. That'd be cool. Anyways, let's head over here to this guy. I'm gonna get some air real quick. And let's go down and see if there's anything interesting in that pod. So, pod number 17. Hello there. Oh, hey. Seamoth fragments. I'll take it. So there's two out of three. I swear I had it. I had it. I swear. Okay, there we go. And I've got their PDA data. And I don't see any technology pods around here, so let's hit the road. Okay, I am back. So here is, I'm going to real quick play some uh, audio for you, the transmissions that have been received, in case you've never seen the game before. If you have, I apologize. I'm sure you've seen this before, and you're probably like, I'm so sick of that. But um, I want to play these back. So it started with here. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Still nothing. These old terror ships, they run out of engine grease. They send an SOS. You offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. He's so grumpy. The long -range scan picks up in the meantime, Damn charter's gonna have us oh, wasting our profit margin running errands for Altera. Okay. 
I figured we could go ahead and uh, take care of some of this while we listened. Okay, next one. Let's see. So these were playing while I was waiting for the, the Aurora to blow up, basically. <laughs> All right, so am I looking at the right place? Yes. Let's find... So there's the first one, and then here's the second one. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. It. Okay. I didn't know how he bad. didn't know. Uh, how many of... Oh. I didn't know. 17. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? We're a six-seater, and we aren't even slightly equipped to handle this. Doesn't he just instill confidence there? Dude, dude, the button. <laughs> okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, I'm gonna grab all this stuff here, including the glass, and we are gonna start our base. Yay! Okay, so I am gonna. Let's see here. Do I want to end the episode? I'm trying to decide. Do I want to end the episode here? I don't even know how long this has been going on. I think I'm going to end the episode here. And then next episode. Well. Yeah. Next episode we'll do some base building. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Become a Finian today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye everybody.